Verlopsaland de Palma, a theme park in Belgium that's as famous in Belgium as Belgian waffles. Locals have known it for more than 20 years already, but now it's got tourists from all over the world scratching their heads and wondering, blop what? Today I'm going to uncover whether you should also pack your bags and venture into this magical wonderland or just leave it for a fairy tale story for another day. Oh, and by the way, it's your favorite theme park adventure here, Thibaut, the guy with the ever expanding theme park bucket list. Seriously, it's grown faster than bamboo on steroids. But guess what? Two months ago, I decided to revisit the park I'd been to before. Hang on tight as I will reveal why it might be the time to add this delightful place to your bucket list. Now let's start with the reasons why you should visit Plopsaland, shall we? From the moment you have arrived at Plopsaland de Palme, your first impression might not be the best due to what might be the least magical entrance of any theme park, but once inside, things take a dramatic turn. Suddenly you're surrounded by beautifully themed areas that are more mesmerizing than a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Take for example the entrance plaza. There's so much to see, so much to do, and from here you have a nice view on the hotel and water park. And then there's also Mayaland, indoor section that houses kids-friendly rides in an enchanting set. It's so magical that even grown-ups secretly wish they could shrink down and join in on the fun. Next to the entrance plaza, the park unveils more delightful zones that will make your inner child do the cha-cha. First up, we've got Wikiland, a place so viking-tastic it makes you want to wear a horned helmet and scream Valhalla. And even the rides here look viking-alicious, such as the Grote Golf, a Zambrella disco coaster that spins you so fast you'll start speaking in Norse code. Oh my god, worst joke ever. Now let's flip to the other side of the park and say hello to the Heidi area. It's like stepping into a Swiss postcard with a mountain village team that's cheesier than a fondue party. The main ride here is Heidi, a wooden roller coaster that fits perfectly in this zone. The whole area just feels like a true Swiss dream minus the goat herding and yodeling. Yodela Hiti. But hold your horses or in this case your dragons because this park has some castles too and not just one, they've got two of them. Seriously, count them. Two. First, we've got the medieval castle area where a cool and fun powered coaster takes you on a dragon themed toy ride through the castle and you'll even soar over the dino splash. Because why not add some dinosaurs to the mix? And then there's the fairy tale Princessia Castle, home to a restaurant and a teacup ride that's so enchanting it might as well be made of sponge sugar. Seriously, this teacup ride is like the Cinderella of teacup rides. The belle of the ball, the creme de la creme. I mean, come on, this has to be the most beautiful looking teacup ride in the entire world, right? It's like a teacup ride fit for royalty, the kind of ride that makes you sip your tea with your pinky up. Now, if you're the type who likes to make a splash, Plopsaland got you covered too. And I'm not talking about spilling your soda on a roller coaster, no, I mean water rides that will leave you drenched and giggling like a kid who just discovered the joy of mud puddles. Wiki the Battle, for example, is like a water gunfight on steroids, you'll be soaked faster than a sponge and a car wash. And then there's Super Splash, which is a bit like getting caught in a monsoon, except with more screaming and less meteorology. And it's got this mind-blowing, unique, rotating lift that will have you spinning to the top before you plummet into the water. Now hold on to your dinosaur heads because there's another watery adventure waiting for you at Lopsaland and it's called Dino Splash. A log from right so big it makes the brontosaurus look like a garden lizard. Here's the fun fact. This ride has been around since the days when the park was still called Mili Park, which feels like a lifetime ago or at least a few ice ages. Back in the day, this log flume used to be all about knights, medieval castles, because why not? But fast forward to 2019 and they decided to give it a makeover, turning it into a Jurassic Park on water. So now we will be floating past giant dinosaurs, erupting volcanoes and who knows, maybe even a T-Rex trying to swipe your log. And let's not forget the pièce de résistance here, the drop out of the dinosaur dino head skeleton. It's so cool it will give you dino sized goosebumps. Now I have to admit it's a bit unusual to have this dino themed wonder right next to a Swiss themed Heidi area and a medieval castle themed coaster but hey who said time travel for example was logical so buckle up because this ride is a must do whether you're a dinosaur buff or just a fan of big splashes and even bigger smiles. Now let's talk about coasters shall we? Lobsland isn't just about immaculate teaming and water rides, they've got some fun roller coasters that will make your stomach do more flips than a gymnast on a trampoline. There's for example Heidi, the charming wooden
wooden coaster that provides thrill for young and old. It's nestled in the Swiss mountain village so you can pretend you're hiding yourself going down the mountain hills. And then there's Anubis, the coaster that's as intense as a triple shot of espresso. It's got a launch that will make your hair stand up and inversions that will make your head spin faster than a DJ's turntable. But hold on to your later hosen because the PS de Resistance is the ride to happiness. An extreme spinning coaster team to the Belgian EDM Music Festival Tomorrowland that is so wild it will leave you laughing like a hyena on helium. It's like a roller coaster and a dance party had a baby and that baby is pure joy. Now, here's the deal for all you parents out there. Since 2023, Popsalant has turned an area at the back of the park into a circus. Not literally, of course, but they've got a circus-themed area. Circus Boomba, to be exact. Located in an indoor hall full of fun for the little ones. There are fun rides for kids, there's a theater show with Boomba, the clown, in case you have been living under a rock. And there's even a dark ride that takes you on a journey with Boomba and his globe-trotting pals. It's like taking a World tour without jet lag. So, as you can see, lots of things to do in Plopsaland, but there's even better news. Plopsaland is open year round, so you can have a blast even when the weather outside is frightful. They only close for a few days during the week in the winter times, but there's even more. There's a small but oh so fun indoor water park right next door. Imagine splashing around in there while the snow falls outside. It's like a winter wonderland, but without the shivering. And Plopsa also has its very own hotel, where magic happens overnight. Too pricey for your taste? Fear not. A budget-friendly option awaits at Plopsa Village, the campsite on the park's other side. And in 2024, brace yourself for more fun here, as Plopsa Village is introducing cool cottages themed after Studio 100's popular characters for a unique stay. I personally can't wait to spend the night in this fantastical place. Now, if you're not the type to stay in one place, you're in luck, because there are plenty of other hotels also near the park, and some of them are even closer to the seaside than a seagull wandering the coastline. So you can actually turn your Plopsland adventure into a full-blown seaside escape. Getting to Plopsalantapana is easier than trying to untangle a slinky made by a drunken octopus, seriously. You've got options galore. Trans, trains and your trusty old car. You could practically stumble out of bed and find yourself at the train station of the Pan, a mere 5 minute walk from the park. It connects you to cities like Ghent, Antwerp or Brussels. But hey, if you want to add some coastal flair, hop on to the Custom that's Dutch for Coast Tram. The tram line that stretches longer than the weight at a theme park restroom, covering a whopping 67 kilometers from one end of the Belgian coast to the other. So if you plan on spending your holidays along the Belgian coast, this tram is your golden ticket to Plopsaland. And Okay, not everyone's a public transport lover, right? Some folks just love their cars more than they love their in-laws. Well, good news for you. Plopsaland offers parking lots which are easy to access from the highway and you'll be there in no time. But of course, there's also reasons why Plopsaland should not be on your bucket list. Okay, let's talk money first. Plopsaland is great and all, but it's not exactly a budget traveler's dream. The food and drinks here can cost more than a diamond studded tiara. Seriously, you might need to get a loan just to buy a hot dog. And sadly, that hot dogs probably don't have real diamonds in them either. Now, if you're the kind of person who thinks the theme park isn't complete without heart-pounding thrills, you might be in for a little disappointment. Plopsaland used to be all about families with kids, so the adrenaline rush options are a bit like finding a needle in a haystack. You'll really have to look hard to find the big thrills and even then you might end up with more than and speaking of disappointment, don't be surprised if you run into long lines on busy days. It's like trying to get a coffee at a hipster cafe on a Saturday morning. I mean, everyone's there and nobody wants to hurry. Capacity of the rides is kind of low sometimes, plus the staff is not always as you would expect. Some are all smiles, working hard and high fives, while others are just there for the paycheck, unfortunately, and that is very visible sometimes. So patience might be your best friend on busy days. Now, if you're a dark ride enthusiast, you might be a bit disappointed too. Plopsaland doesn't exactly have an abundance of dark rides. Sure, they added a Boomba themed one in 2023, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack made of needles. And rumors even suggest that the older dark ride might be on its last legs, so you might be down to just one dark ride. Talk about a dark situation. Lastly, if you're hoping to relive the good old days of Melee Park, I've got some news for you. It's gone. 
Studio 100 bought the park in 1999 and turned it into Plop Salon. And they've made so many changes that even a detective with a magnifying glass and a Sherlock Holmes hat couldn't find a trace of the old park, unfortunately. Except for some relics from the past stacked together in this small area here. So yeah, lots of reasons to visit or not to visit Plop Salon Tapana. Plop Salon Tapana is, as said, open year-round and ticket prices may range from won't break the bank on calm days to brace yourself, it's payday on busy days. And if you're looking to cool off in the water park, that will set you back some more hard-earned euros. As I mentioned earlier, you can stay at the Plopsa Hotel, Plopsa Village or any of the other charming hotels in the Belgian seaside village of the Pan. And for the latest details, be sure to check their website because who knows what kind of shenanigans they got then next. So there you have it folks, Plopsa and Tapana, where enchantment meets excitement and where laughter echoes louder than a roller coaster's first drop. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or just someone who wants to hang out with Studio 100's colorful characters, now you've got all the info you need to decide if Plop Salon deserves a spot on your theme park bucket list. Until next time, keep those roller coasters rolling and those cotton candy dreams alive. See ya!